Hello everyone, Red here, also known as Gel, and welcome to the Floofcast. This is episode number five, I believe. I'm your host and also moderator, as I said, Red. Uh, my co-host Draco is here with us. And Nova's out and about again, but we have a new guest today, a uh, friend of Draco's, Ty. Hello. And today we are talking about just the general topics of what, how we heard, first heard about the fandom and general releases to everybody. So our first topic today is hearing about the fandom. Um, doesn't matter who... Uh, Draco, would you like to take this away? Uh, sure, I first heard about the, uh, well, like I said, I've been in it since I was eight, but I didn't officially know the name of it until I was, uh, 15. Okay, um, how'd you hear about it? Okay. It was one of those, uh, I don't know where I first heard about it, but, uh, well, first thought. First time I can remember hearing about it is surfing the web, I came across the Wikipedia. Which, luckily, unlike a lot of people nowadays, started me off in the right direction of not making them a bunch of weirdos. Right, right, right. Um, I, uh, heard about them from Nova, and and, um, huh? What were you saying? Um, Sorry, I lost track. Uh, yeah, I heard it from Nova. That's how I heard it for the first time. Um, she, not, I knew about it before, but it's just something that I lost in the back of my mind. Oh, so Nova, was your first mem memorable experience about it? Sure. Hi, hi, you. Yeah. Uh, first time you remember hearing about the fandom. Well, it would have to be like, I don't know, like when I was 10, and then I always have something for dogs, they're like amazing and everything, and then one day on Google Images, there's a guy in costume, I didn't know what, what it was, based on the image, it was just simply amazing on how many people were in costume, so the next year after that, uh, no, it was like 2013. I made a Facebook account and everything, and then I had a picture of a dog, and then uh, people just started adding adding me randomly. <laughs> mm. And then that's how I learned as a fandom. Uh, public media has a good view for one. For yeah. I mean, social networking. <laughs> Right. Uh, second question, our topic is um, coming out to your relatives and how best, how, how did they take it, how did you do it, so forth and so fifth. Um, doesn't matter who takes that, go ahead and grab it. Uh, that booth called Pawstar was there. 
that gave me the first chance because I, until then I was never really public about it, or even to relatives. But when Poster was there, had a funny, got a tail, got some else. Had a fun time during the weekend because family knew I wanted to go to a convention, but I never told them what it was. And uh, first person I actually, the first person we actually uh, knew about it was the friend's mom at the area because she didn't know we bought the tails and stuff. I was right in the back seat of their car. She looks in the mirror and almost has a heart attack because she thought the tail I was wearing was moving or something. Which was actually a fun experience. And same thing happened to my mom because when I was 15, like two and a half, three hours away from my home, so I tried to hide it the best I could in the car. Not until we were like almost 30 minutes from home does she see it and starts having a snip of minor knitbit about it because she doesn't understand <laughs> what it is. Hmm. Which was, and this normal road, it, explaining about all the stuff, which is pretty much going to be our next topic, but there was a fun road trying to explain to everyone that's born and or raised in the older country and has that mindset of it should be this way because this says so. So that was all I thought. Okay. Ty, how did you explain to your family, friends, whatever? Uh, it was like mostly to my friends. Uh, they only found out because um, my Facebook. I added them before the other thing went down like that. They just asked questions, and then, yeah. And then I have some ignorant friends that know all the dark things about the fandom. And yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it's not true. I mean, everyone has their skeleton, but... Yeah, that is true. Everyone usually respects it in public eyes. So, you didn't tell your family at all yet? No, they just think it's a cost thing. Oh, wow. Did you plan on telling that some kind of thing? Uh, maybe. They still haven't taken cosplay too lightly yet. Oh, cosplay? Yeah, because cosplay is a lot of money. And then, if, they, if I tell them how much a suit is, yeah. And then... <laughs> the things you go through... Oh, pretty yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to add on to that? Mm, no, not really. Alright. Ah, just simple. I just told my mom. That's it. What was her reaction? She didn't care. <laughs> Other than her talking about the fucking... Uh, um, I'll story time. Yeah, pretty much she tried to understand it, and the only thing she knew about it at the time was its stupid fucking CSI episode of... Burn Burn. Yep, and I says, kinda like that, but without the fucking sex and the death. So. See, I took minor offense to that when it came to being mistaken as an animal, because for someone who was... Well, the sex part actually made me annoyed, but the part that made me mad is, like, this, they had this, like, 50-some-year-old guy who's been hunting his whole life, and he can't distinguish a small pest to a human. Whatever. It's a TV show, really. I mean, you can't really get too pissed off about it, but, I know, I mean, people do. <laughs> like, if the whole... Well, no, we're not, we're not, we're really worried about it, it's, uh, the other people that caused the whole frickin' conundrum in the first place. Well, I mean, just like any fandom that's out there, um, uh, people, 
there's going to be bad apples in the group. So, um, gonna have to deal with it. And it's something that the little kids gonna have to understand that not everything is a bad thing. Um, sorry to tell you, but there's sex in every fandom. Not only just ours, but in every fucking fandom out there. In one shape or another. Especially if you look at anime. In comparison to some of the stuff that's out here now. And, and people bitching about the furry stuff. Is anime three times worse. I've seen a lot I worse stuff. <laughs> that was on, on one of my posts on Google Plus. Which I rarely post on. It's like... Uh, how, why is it socially acceptable for Goku to sleep with Vegeta, but a fox and a wolf, all of a sudden, the world's about to end? Eh, because they're fucking 15 years, 13, 14, 15 years old, they think sex is icky. Eh, whatever. But it is what it is. Uh, let's see. So, how to describe the fandom to others? The best way how you would describe it to people you first met is, I'm guessing, what we're going with on that subject. Ooh, Ty mentioned this during his last comment. How did you mention it to other people? Huh? What? <laughs> Are you asking me a question? Yeah, how did you mention the fandom to other people? Um... Or describe it, I mean. You mean at first or just now? Uh... Well, as you progressed in a butter... A, yeah, a butter. As you progressed in a better understanding yourself about it as you grew. Well, I just described it as people that like to socialize that likes animals and art and I didn't I don't really go that deep into detail because everything just starts getting weird for me. What do you mean it just starts getting weird for you? <laughs> no, um because when I describe things I make everything just awkward sometimes. If you saw our past uh videos you every you'd understand that you probably are the worst compared to us. <laughs> you, are, uh. you, are free, you are free to describe it, however. <laughs> well, okay. I would describe it as a large group of people that like a certain animal, that likes to dress up as a certain animal, and socialize with other people through art, um, yeah, basically through art. In other ways that I think you guys already know. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Draco? Um. I just kind of, uh, what is it? Yeah, I told you about my podcast. I'm bad at describing things. <laughs> uh, basically, I describe it as like a social thing for people with similar interests. Uh, when people mention it and they're like freaking out about it, I wait to hear what they think about it. First, instead of jumping to conclusions like some younger people do trying to defend everything in the world, I first ask them what their opinions or thoughts are on it, and then if they steer down the bad side of it, I try to explain to them that the group of people similar in, a similar interest who respect animals, like 99% of them, there are bad apples in the bunch. You'll find that you'll find people that interest in almost anything now. And it's a bunch of people that just like being themselves, sharing art, showing talent, baby as a avenue to be 
be more social because they had they don't feel as confident in them to their selves without the uh, suit on, which is perfectly fine as long as it doesn't come to like an unhealthy obsession of having to do it every single day to socialize with anyone. If that's the case, as Kaga has mentioned once before in one of his uh, wine streams, uh, get mental help. I mean, I don't know if it was either him or two that mentioned, uh, yes, being in the fandom is great, yes, having the costume is great, but no, you can't dwell on it in every second of every day of your life. You have to have, you need to accept reality smacking you in the face. That you are just a person, that you are a person, and it's a hobby. Yep. And we lost him. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess we're just talking with ourselves for the next uh, hour long with the next subject. That's but fine. But as it comes for the next topic, uh, as it comes for. Oh. Taking, talking freely about whatever. No, I just forgot to ask you what you would do to try to distract the fandom of the other. Just a group of people who are into different things. Just like explaining to someone what they like in anime or in video games. Not really any different from that by much. Um, I'm not. I I haven't been in this for that long to really describe it to people, without people just getting up in arms over stupid shit. So I tend to just say, whatever. Um, oh, by the way, I added him back. Welcome back, Terry. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. My phone was being weird. That's fine. That's Skype. It's uh, we're not expected to have everyone have no one drop out over the course of these. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we talking about now? Whatever. Um. Random interests under things, maybe. Maybe introduce yourself a little bit more, Ty. Besides your name, maybe your persona and what it is. Okay. This is something we should have done at the beginning, but oh well! It's fine. Okay. Full name is Ty Masumoto. Um, Persona is a German Shepherd, uh, <laughs> a German Shepherd, um, Siberian Husky mix. I just say Shepsky, but, but it, and then, hmm, a little more about me. How long have you been in the fandom for? Or have you gone to any conventions? Those type of things. Hmm. I've been in the fandom for like four years now, and I haven't attended any conventions yet. Hmm. Did you go to any free meets? No, I wish I could have. Though. There's at least one in San Francisco. I did not know that. <laughs> uh, we'll just Google Bay Area fur meets. It's like once yeah. every other Wednesday of the month or something like that. I don't know how close you are to San Francisco, so there's that. But I mean, if you live near a BART station or car distance, you should be alright. Okay. I'll check that out. Oh, you mean, yeah, well, if you look anything up for California, f or at least Bay Area for meets, it's usually the same person that keeps coming up, um, who runs a lot of different things, or at least did run things. I don't know what he does now. Oh, why did he come okay. 
I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what's... I mean, I don't keep tabs on every fur in California. I don't have that capability. I'm not fucking the NSA. I can keep tabs of every fur in northern Wisconsin. Hi. <laughs> My God. The only one. Yeah, but just Google any Bay Area fur or f furry meats in California. Bay Area, California usually comes up with his name. There's like a website that you can join, like a forum boards. He's like the runner of it, or at least was the creator of it. And why not? Do I know if he's still doing it or not? I don't know. He's big enough to be on Fur Wiki, or whatever the hell it's called. So, I guess that's saying something. Not big as not big as Kaga or Two Griffin, but eh, he does decent. He's really decently good. Not having a like a social site publicity. I think the only I think the only time I've ever actually I think I've only seen, uh, when I looked him up on like tried to look him up on YouTube or Google I think only like two videos in total came up. For who? Uh, electro bunny or the neon bunny? Yeah, neon bunny. I think it's neon bunny. Yeah, if I just tab out, enough. or not tab out, if I just drop what I was doing and go to. I have it bookmarked. Uh, where is it? San Francisco Bay Furries. Plug. Yeah, as soon as it loads up, it's going to take forever. Because internet. Things. People. Sadly, some websites are just that slow nowadays. Eh. It's a bookmark. I don't know why the bookmark's going to act like a fool. I really need those pictures of the bookmarks just a little more often. Do, 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 just do it that way. Wikifur.com. Uh, Bath, Bay Area Fur. San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley. World's greatest concentration of furries per square mile. Wow, okay. Uh, In the Bay Area? I belong to Bath. That's what it says on Wikifur. Uh, events Monday they have a Mongolian barbecue I guess I don't know if that's oh, even that sounds delicious. Uh, pizza on Tuesdays Wednesdays nothing Thursdays cracked chicken uh, writers arts group as well uh, Saturdays black bear diner oh I know that that's in Melpitas yep I know that place and there's Berkeley fur meat it's monthly um, first Tuesday of the month, 7.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., where somewhere in... I don't know how correct this stuff is. This is a freaking Wikipedia thing. Uh, Frolic is second Saturday of the month, 9 to 2 a.m. It's the Stud Nightclub in San Francisco. Uh, furry Gaming Party. Again, like I said, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of... Redded. Oh, there was supposed to be a Walnut Creek fur meet. Actually, I know where that area is located. Uh, Ooh, you can start getting so currently, dead gatherings. Well, no, it's a red fucking uh, link, so I'm guessing it's not an existent thing. Uh, there's a Facebook group and the Google Plus community. Oh, there's a Google Plus community. <laughs> Why is it Kino? The I I know the artwork on that got from that guy. Sadly enough, I actually follow him on YouTube. Don't know why he's there, cause he's from Germany. Germany. Hmm. Yes, Germany. I mean, he might have came out here, but yeah, Germany. Nick, okay. <laughs> 
Uh oh, I recognize some people. Why is he in here? Why is that guy in? Anyways, we're going off topic. I do apologize. I'll check a look at that later. Um, yeah, I was off topic. Well, it's off topic because I just keep. I'm just look staring at stuff on Google Plus. Something that people can't see other than me. Uh, well, I guess you're not the only one that's off topic. Revenge of Pizza Rar. <laughs> uh, that's one of the dead type gatherings. The only one I've heard of is the uh, the uh, San Francisco for the no, not the that's the wrong one. The do 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 do. God damn it! What was it? The uh, frolic at the <laughs> club. But I will send the l copy the link so you could take a look at it. And I may put the link in the description below. Most likely I will. So any CalFers want to Bay Area CalFers want to check it out, they can. Um but yeah. Okay, you guys can go ahead well Draco can say something. Please talk about how many furs are in your location, Draco. Go! <laughs> well, in my immediate location, <laughs> hey, hi, I'm the whole population. Uh -huh. But, uh, well, realistically, supposedly through a social site, I'm not going to say which one, because, uh, well, the imaging, that, well, yeah, the images they use for, like, the borders and stuff around the website are inappropriate, but... <laughs> Hey, hey, get your mind out of the gutter. You said they, uh, they are <laughs> they're inappropriate. Well, minor, not safe for work, not like fall around stuff. Okay. But, anyway, supposedly someone lived in my area really close to me. Sent them a message, never heard back. After they sent me a message. Like, that's great. And the only other one I know is in Appleton. I don't know what terms we are on right now because the last time we talked we were kind of on rocky terms. And there is a Fox Valley uh, group in Wisconsin, although if you go to their website, it kind of looks like the Salt Lake, Nevada. There's nothing there. Meanwhile, I'll try to see if there's anybody in my town in this fucking thing. <laughs> I like seeing like people from like Canada, Jura, United, United Kingdom. It's like okay, that's California, right? Germany. Kind of, yeah. Ooh. Okay, got it. Yeah, we could tell this. Never mind, I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Come on, you no, know. I'm gonna if I wanna join this community, I'm not gonna say, say shit. It, Let's just say it's not being say really it. well regulated. Let's just say that much. We don't know the name of the community. Forty well, however many views we're gonna get are people that are gonna be wondering what is he going on about? You gonna tell us a secret <laughs> tell us? Well virtually, yeah, it's it's not regulated because like one's an auction. One of the persons that's Part of this is an auction group, another couple lower down, or what is my apartment worth to you? <laughs> yeah. No, some just. Eh. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, I gotta hear. Go here. Fuck it. How much am I worth? No, it's like, what's my condo worth? Uh -huh. That's, if you're listening, you'd know what I said. Surprising enough, yes, some of them are actually from California, but surprisingly enough, not all of them. Okay, like there's a girl here from. Remember that might be that might just be saying where they're 
from, not where they are now. They might be your neighbor for all you know. I'm actually looking through this just to see if there's anybody from where I live. So far, one close by. By close, how close? I buy like a sit like neighboring city by. Like Oakland. You know where I live. You know how close I am to freaking Oakland. Don't say Oakland. All right. Where do you live? I uh, live Northern Bay Area. I'm also a YouTuber, <laughs> so I'm not saying. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, fuck off, that's not more, that's not unusual. Totally not unusual. Oh, okay. Mm. That's cool. Actually, two cities over. I'm actually kind of near there, too. Wait, you're new? Yes, he's new. Kind. <laughs> Wait, you're new, to, you're new to California? Never mind. Nothing. Yeah, we we weren't born here. We were, well, at least I was wasn't born here. I don't know about him. He might have been born here and just you know whatever. Okay, that's Lisa's in California. Hi, my name is Samuel, and I'm from Germany. My English ain't that good. Yeah, somewhat close. Yeah, mine starts with an M, my town, so you can figure that out from how close I am to that area. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and anybody who's listening to this can figure it out too. It's not that hard. Look for a pl it's you know, it's huh? I don't anyone's gonna care. No, I know, I just I like prefer my privacy. I mean, uh, okay, that's the across the bridge from me. Across the bridge from you? Exactly, the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, <laughs> oh so that sounds pretty close. Yep. So far, one across the bridge, one the city over. <laughs> Nobody within the same town I live in. Oh boy, this is so fascinating, huh, folks? <laughs> it's totally fascinating. Uh, yes, completely entertaining. Oh, that's not that far. Oh, he's a hippo. That's uh, well, um, nothing against the man, but he's a, he's a plus size man, so I'm not kind of surprised. Well, I'm plus size too, so. Scrat. No. Scrat. <laughs> the funny thing is, I actually have, I actually was been playing Ark, and one of my uh, scorpions in there is named. Well, the only scorpion I have is named Scrat, and it doesn't do anything but shit, and not well either. So it's like, do I really want to feed it? Do I really want to just let it die? Hmm. Every, over every so often, I get an egg out of it. It's like, ah, damn, it gives an egg. I can't kill him right off the bat. This is going on YouTube, right? Pretty much. You can say yeah. hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I oh, know. I also have a YouTube channel. 
Well, give us the link and we'll link it later if you do anything on it or not. Okay. I'll throw it down there hey, and give you some. As long as I'm not doing anything, I'll go find the link. Oh boy. Now, where was the one from? Ah. Hmm. No need to worry, I'll mute myself with a tippy tap. I don't care. Has no information. God, you kind of a boring freaking fur, aren't you? <laughs> He's got a picture and that's it. Uh, can't even say hi to you. You have like no posts. Get some posts. Be good. Be a better fur. Absolutely stunning. Eh. Anybody looks at my post, they think, they know I live in California, but it's like, oh, you live somewhere. And it's like, that's not where I live. But thank you, Google, for being close. Like, nowhere close whatsoever. Keep it up, because I don't want to, to freaking know. <laughs> thank you, Google. Google's just simp simply amazing. Hey, it's the goggles. You know what, you can't <laughs> How long has this guy been there? Uh... Mm -hmm. I'll try to figure out how long this. As much as I don't care, because every freaking YouTuber out there bullshits at Google all the time, and Google understand and knows it. Fucking even PewDiePie bitches about Google. <laughs> Oh my god, my video won't load up today. What the fuck's wrong with you, Google? You know, I find it funny. It's like, actually, no, no, I'm not gonna go into a rant. Okay, too, Griffin. Hey! Him and I actually personally like anything that he doesn't agree with, he will bitch out. Well, like I said, I don't care either. I wonder if this is actually. Alright, so anyway, uh, number one guy on YouTube, 40 million subscribers. What gets 2 million views. What? Oh, you talking about PewDiePie? Yeah, only 5% of his sub subscriber base is active. Okay, I, I want to know, I wa this is, before we even get into PewDiePie, I want to know from all the people who watch this video in the comment section down below. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. This is from all the furs. I want to know why, why, why isn't a lot of the furs subscriber to Markiplier and Jack Se and Jack Why? I don't I, I don't understand it. Everybody, everybody I see, it's, it's Markiplier. I'm not subscribed to any. Or Jack <laughs> Oh, I'm not either. I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying a large majority are. In my defense, I subscribed to uh, Markiplier I, because he was I, at like 30,000 subscribers on a small care. channel. I, I didn't care. know he'd blow up like he I, did. I don't care. I like, there's nothing wrong with Markiplier. Will I sub to him? Probably not. Do I hate him? No. But I'm just trying to understand why furs seem to be gravitating to this man. You know, leave it in the comment section down below. Let us know why, because I'm, I'm curious. I mean, every time I see it, I can point out names, give out shout outs. And they're all sub to PewDiePie. At least one of them. <laughs> Zabu. I'm not gonna fucking hide shit. Fuck it. I'm. I I I want to take fucking Two Griffin's job. <laughs> He's want to retire soon. I know he does. Who doesn't want to fucking retire? Hi everyone and welcome to the bitch cast. <laughs> fucking bitch cast. And if this ever gets a fucking two griffin, go back and play goddamn video games. Most fun shit I've ever seen. Gamer, my ass can't even fucking play a video game right. Uh, that's kind of sad. Only one local city, and it's in red. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Meaning no. Meaning, yes, which sucks because I don't want to go all the way out to San Francisco because it's a bit far. Vacaville is a bit far. Cross the bridge is far. <laughs> yeah, cross my bridge? Fuck yes! 
fucking gasoline is expensive and I don't have a car and uh, yeah. Got another Sonic, gotta go fast. Sonic. Gotta go fast. Alameda Crack Chicken. Why is it called Crack Chicken? <laughs> I actually gotta look at this. Why is it called Crack Chicken? Crack okay, to not offend people, I'm not going to touch that. Is the informal name of weekly opening gathering in the Bay Area furry fans held two Thursday nights, generally starting around 6 p.m. to around midnight at Wicked Chicken Wings, formerly Smoke Eaters at Santa Clara Restaurant, known for its spicy hot wings. Attendance numbers vary from week to week, typically ranging from 25 to 40 furs. And attendance spikes during further confusion. Ah, yes, further confusion in San Fr in San Jose. I believe it's San Jose. Uh, you know what would actually probably be a cool idea for them? Uh, go to one of those medieval cafes. I don't think we have any of those around here. You don't? I don't think so. At least, I don't know. Mm -mm. Well, down south maybe, but not nowhere around here. Uh, only been to, I've never been to one. Maybe actually... My sister's been to one, and... I so actually know... All of these charities, in further that uh, further confusion did. Being because I live in California, I recognize all of them. Further confused. Oh my God! Bring back fur fright. <laughs> uh, where's this located? It just says the Bay Area of California. There's a lot of cities in the Bay Area, of California. Uh, fur wiki. Where's your what's the fucking website? As long as we're going off on tangents randomly, we really need to bring back a Halloween-based uh, uh, convention in the U.S. somewhere. Uncle because Kage, get on it. Huh? Huh? Uh, yes, I'll get out of twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking <laughs> about you. I was. Is your name Uncle Kage? No. I'm just dropping right. fucking people I know. Just get right on it. Everyone that has money, or at least $30, on a bus token. <laughs> bus token? <What> <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa <laughs> Moses. In my day, we had bus tokens. Oh my God. Point is, I want an excuse to wear a costume on a costume. San Jose. Okay. Just for you in California, you want to know what or for the confusion is in... Cal at San Jose Convention Center. Hmm. I feel sorry for all those people that click off earlier that I didn't get this far in for when everyone was just whining. <laughs> January 14th to the 18th, 2016. Oh my gosh, did you guys, did you guys hear about what happened with the new cola when it came, when it came out over here? No. The what? No. No, it, like, um, so we're supposed to, like, get new cola, like, from the, um, Fallout, um, games. Uh-huh. So what happened? What happened? Um, Target got them in stock, and then the employees got first dibs. That's just a bad idea altogether. Uh. So the employees just started stocking up, stocking up, and stocking up for friends, family, and friends. So when the general public had it, uh, it like sold out. Like it was only like I don't know, twenty bottles left. <laughs> in all of California? I don't know if it all in California. I think it was like in certain parts. Like they made very limited stock. Anybody know who Cyber is? Cyber? Yeah, or Foxmore or Pepper Coyote. I've heard of Pepper Coyote, I don't know. Or Diana Simpson? Or Dana, D A N A? Nope. Those are just featured guests of this <laughs> convention. I could probably say I've heard of all of them, but again, and like. 15 plus years, you only remember a handful. I don't know any of them. I know Pepper Coyote. That's really? It. No, not personally, but I've heard of him. Mm. I don't know any of them. I feel sad. Well, I've only been in a fandom for two months, so. Oh. <laughs> well, 
as long as we aired out the laundry. It's kind of funny. Every like all these people that are like super nice and hardly anyone's heard of them, and yet they're guests of honor. And yet you have people like, like I said, as long as we're airing out laundry, dirty laundry, you have people like Scrat who are nothing but scum. Oh God. And they're known by every. That's because it's fucking Scrat. And everybody knows him because everybody is trying to stay away from him. The con office, come on. I mean, I really should. I really should watch that though, because I don't think he knows where I live. And he is only like 12 hours away, 10 by car. Who cares? What the fuck is he gonna do? <laughs> This this is a guy who whines and complains because nobody likes his dancing. Cause it sucks. I can't dance, okay? But I, I you don't hear me bitching complaining because I can't dance. If I can't dance, I can't dance. Deal with it. Suck it up, man, boy, and deal with it. What I'm left doing now is like my arms are noodles. That's all I can do for dance. Suck it up and deal with it. I don't care. I don't think there's going to be any Scrat fanboys in our comment section. Oh, oh God. And if anybody knows Scrat, send this video to him. I don't really give a flying rat's ass. Let him get his little butt on a plane to come out here and I will have a nice little chat with him. Like, I'm really scared of a man named Scrat who stole his fucking suit from someone else. Mangoso! And, okay, I'm from the background of criminal justice, and you, you're, you were supposed to say allegedly. I don't even want to say allegedly. Because it's, you know, really true. I've seen the evidence. It looks exactly like his fucking suit. I know, everyone's pointed it out. I mean, okay, so it's like, no, allegedly, so... Didn't he, like, get punched, like, the first time he wore the damn suit? Beats the fuck out of me. I know Manguzi wanted to have a go at him. I wouldn't blame him if someone stole my fucking suit idea. Fuck. Jackass can't come up, come up with your own fucking suit? Fucking immature. No wonder you've been kicked out of... I don't know how many Walmarts you've said you got kicked out of. Yes, I fucking watched your videos. I don't fucking give a rat's ass. Didn't like any single one of them. I can safely go to the Blue Line Railroad Walmarts without concern. <laughs> Shout out to the Blue Line Railroad Walmarts. <laughs> Actually, that would be a really mean thing to do. Just go to a convention and ask him, hey, want to go to Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm such a fucking asshole. I would be like, he'd be banned from it, and I'd go, oh, look what I can do. I can walk in, I can walk out. I can walk in, I can walk out. Can you do that? No. I'm so sorry. Would you like me to buy you something in there? <laughs> Tough shit, motherfucker. I wonder what he did. I think we're going a little too far, especially for public viewing. All right, all right, all right. You got me ranting, for Christ's sakes. Okay. I can rant too. I just use that too right now. All right. Mainly because if I ever go to Midwest Fur Fest, he knows who I am. <laughs> well, I, I you can always get me a ticket. I'll be a bodyguard. I'll be sure to spend the eight hundred dollars to probably fly you out here. Just give me a train. It's faster, cheaper. It's like a hundred. What? It's like a hundred something dollars round trip. I don't think or two hundred something. To Amtrak, hun. Amtrak. Amtrak goes to Canada. It goes all the way out on the other side of the United States. Google it. Okay. Damn children these days don't know how to Google shit. $100 no, it's more than that. It's one way it's hundred dollars. It's like two hundred something. Well, at least that's I'm talking about going to freaking Canada. I'm not talking about going all the way out to Chicago. I haven't looked for Chicago. Oh, damn. 
Well, see, in Wisconsin, if I want to go to Fur, uh, uh, yeah, Fur Pity, if I want to go to Fur Pity, I'll have to go around the Great Lakes. So, <sighs> if I want to go to Anthrocon, I'd have to go all the way around the Great Lakes, which would not be a cheap end track, right? Cool this thing about it's cool. Costly, dude. Cool. Hmm. Wait, what was that? So this not also cost for, for um bed, bedroom, and um, entry price. Oh, for the the con itself? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well unless you have like someone you're gonna spend time with or something like that, then you don't have to worry about room and board. No, I but have someone I'm gonna be with. It's just it's going to cost a lot because I have a round trip ticket plane plus an Wait. extra hundred in case shit goes awry. Wait, who the fuck is you going with? Uh, someone I met on Xbox like four years ago. Uh, well, release a Grand Theft Auto. Hmm. What? I don't know if he's explained this to you, but me and him are, are dating, by the way. I don't know if I like this or not. Yeah. Hmm. Don't worry. It's a heterosexual friend. <laughs> they are straight and Nobody's straight. Nobody's straight. Are you kidding me? Nobody in this day and age is straight. That's arousal. That's not say anything about being straight or not straight. Look at the fandom. 95% of it's gay, pansexual. I know my facts are probably wrong, but I don't give a damn. Uh, Am I not incorrect? No. Huh? Wait, well, yeah, yeah you are. Fun. Yeah, you are, but don't worry about that. We're going to probably the most populated convention in the United States still last time I checked, but... Uh... As far as that, he'd probably have a couple hundred people he would want to do that with that are more, well, very well known throughout the community before lovely <laughs> living <laughs> Telephone! Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you heard it. Someone share this video with I know whatever her YouTube channel is. <laughs> some random, yeah, some random friend of Draco's wants to have, make Whoopi with her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you signed her up. I didn't sign her up for nothing. I just thought of a, a famous fur and went with it. That's a, that's a girl. Because he's heterosexual, air quotes. Oh, that's even wrong. Yeah, yeah. If anyone knows, the people who are you, he's he gonna whoop your ass on that one. In many ways, it's actually more. very frightening because North Carolina. Damn it! I didn't want to go. Well, still <laughs> born of who it is now. <laughs> Right. Rock riding. Right You're not getting no more art no more. You've been banned. No, you know it. Well, you know what's hilarious? It's not even that. Watch us get back to Uncle Kage and fucking Toon Griffin. They whoop your ass. He would ban. He would ban your ass so fast. You have been banned. You're not. I wonder how far that's gonna get get you. Yes. Far uh, as hello everyone and welcome to Draco makes an ass of himself cast. It'd be fr it'd be further if it was too Griffin though. <laughs> at least there would be a uh, shot. No, uh, honestly, if they got mad at me, uh, Kage would bend me over and Two Griffin would punch the Viking helmet up somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I I I I uh uh uh. 
I'd love to have a uh, video of that proof. Um, I will go out and buy yeah, a nice a Riesling. <laughs> I'd, I'd buy a bottle of nice Riesling wine for said individual if I can get video proof of that. No, someone actually shares this video to him. He's gonna do anything to get that wide, you know. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but I, the, the thankful thing is, I can't ship it to him. Why? Because it's illegal in the state he lives in. Okay, okay, okay. And I don't have the money anytime to go to any con that he's. It's illegal in the state he lives in, but you gotta remember, he'll be in Pennsylvania. Yes, but I don't have any means of getting to Pennsylvania. I next next thing I know, life. next thing I know, the hilarious thing is, it happens, I end up with a plane ticket and room and board to it. <laughs> All I need to do is buy a bottle of wine. Wow. No, I don't, yeah. The things I thought of... <laughs> Yeah, shush. It's not that bad. You know, Ty, this is actually a very common occurrence. I'm oh, constantly, yeah. I'm constantly being signed up a bad situation. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you think? You're the test of me. You think I'm going to go out and do it? No, and I don't know that I'm going to kick your ass if you sign her up. What do you mean, kick my ass? She's not even in the fucking cast tonight, and she's busy doing God knows what. Hmm. Now this cast is getting much more interesting. <laughs> this is normal for the first half hour. We don't know what to talk about. Then for the last half of it, we're just we're just trying to see who can be the biggest asshole. I I want I want the two I want the two Griffin Award, I want it. I can taste it. I'm going for it. You know, they, I, you actually showed me that wine stream where they were actually talking about if they weren't around anymore. I think I know what to do with your application. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Huh. Mm. I'll I'll be like that one video from Uncle Kage. I'll be the I'll be the uh, the sh the forty collar. Yeah, the border collie in the suit, and you'll just be barking random orders at me. I've <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> ah, boy. Anyways, as we get off topic as usual. <sighs> At least it's not the artist showcase, otherwise there'd be a, probably a plane or a jet going by someone's house. Right? Oh, you mean you're like your rocket ship? <laughs> I'm talking about like, uh, Dr. Hulak, a very good artist, a very good person. But this, this, this is how you know it's cold in Wisconsin, because you hear a rocket ship going off and Draco's in the background of Jacob's video. <laughs> We're always full of fucking... If you don't like any background noise, donate said money to XYZ MMLOP and we will get right on fixing that. <laughs> no. Actually, it actually goes funny. Well, the last two podcasts, well, number one, two... Uh, three weeks ago, so if we're not including the if we're including the one we skip, uh, skip. Doctor Hagen Tulak, uh, indeed Skittles or something into a bowl. Still a very nice person. I don't think it's Skittles. I think that was kibble for an animal that she has, or rabbit, or something like that. Well, yeah, but the week after that. Nova, and because of Dewey, we decided to, we got to hear her microwave. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and we also got to hear another thing, too. Oh. Well, 
not no actually we didn't get to hear something we got to well we got to laugh at draco's expense we're not i'm not allowed to say i'm not allowed to say if you want to find out you have to ask him yourself Oh, he didn't tell me. Uh, it got me freaking giggling like freaking Muttley from that freaking cartoon. Forget Mart. Forget Muttley. I got these charming. I got these sounding like Darth Maul at the end there. Darth Maul. Luke. Why? I, I am not your father. What a way to ruin the video. I mean, ruin the series there, freaking. Ugh, I hated the original fucking. S the first three Star Wars. One, two, and three. Other shit. The Phantom Shit Miss. Uh just remind me if, if Nova's ever in that kind of mood again where he, he just wants to ruin my life during a podcast remind me never to mention electrical pulses around her <laughs> uh, you know you keep bringing it up you keep you keep bringing it up and people are gonna want to see the picture Bless his little oh, heart. By the way, whoever wants to know what I mean by electrical pulses, Google exists for a reason. Ah, oh, uh, children, don't Google it. It's not worth it. <laughs> no, it's not. But if you have, you're a brave person. Oh boy. Or bored. Blog, 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 blog. Pretty much. Anywho, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm doing artwork while we cast. Such a multitasker I am. Artwork they can't even see. Ooh, Art ah. Yeah, artwork that is other shit, and they're glad they can't see. There we go. Oh sh! What the frick happened there? He's like, I'm not even going to answer. This is creepy. Oh my god, are you just asking random people? No, he's actually talking to you. He's asking you how you're doing. But he had Wolski. I don't. I don't know what you call it, alright? <laughs> I mean, you say Ty. It would be much easier for me to just be like, oh, what's okay. that? He's talking to me. It's so hard to be cynical these days. So, anyway, my day is going pretty good. Hey, that's great right here. Hey, shit. Facebook's on fire. What else is new? Poor Facebook. Oh no. A hundred friend requests, thirty messages. See? We're we're so big that you've already well, gotten notifications. That happened, that happened just overnight? Yeah. A <laughs> hundred How many friends do you have on there? Well, it was... I have over two thousand... Getting to... Three thousand? Wow, and the thing, uh, the, the thing, the same night I added you, you remembered exactly who I was. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 do. This is going weird now. The rant is over with. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed. Yeah, you better enjoy. Whatever. <laughs> Leave a like, comment. In California, we have one 
person east of the Mississippi, and we have someone in Canada. We want to find you if you don't enjoy. I am not affiliated with the situation. Uh, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for in- listening to a little rant there. Um, Thank I, you for enjoying shit getting cold again. <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed the rant and want to hear more rant, please let me know what you want me to rant about, and I will do such things. No, I'm not trying to, ch- trying to, no, I'm not trying to take two Griffin's job. Um, so, I'm not a circle. I am. Anyways, leave a like, comment in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. And if you're brand new, please subscribe. That way you can get this video straight into your box when you when it's released. Have a good day. See you later. Bye bye.